Hey everybody, this is Greg coming to you with another episode of Greg's Bonsai. Today we're going to be showcasing another one of my pomegranates. We're going to dub this guy Pomegranate B. I've got about maybe 10 of these total. This is the second one that I'm showcasing after I did those groupings back in the summer. And uh, I did do one for Pomegranate A, and you got to see that. I did trim that up a little bit. This guy's a little bit different, as you can see. Definitely has just the, the V style coming up. Not a straight one, but a V instead of the W that we saw in Pomegranate A. Not much to really showcase here in regards to changing because when you first saw these, they were about yay tall, give or take. And I think they were even in these smaller pots, not this guy. So it's been a while. It's been about, mm, I want to say four months since I've really shown off a lot of these, but I just want to kind of focus on these a little bit more, especially since they are growing and they're in my grow tent. We do have a little bit of, um, I want to say dryness maybe. I'm not exactly sure how to, to say that. They are still shiny. They still look great in that regard, but they are browning a little bit. And I'm not sure if that's lack of water. Um, that they come off rather easily. So, I'm trying to figure out exactly, whoop, trying out this gimbal here for you guys, just to try and make my recording a little easier for you and make it a little bit more steady. Um, trying to figure this out. There's a delicate balance, especially when I start bringing them into the grow tent and uh, trying to make sure that they're hydrated properly. I do try and water these either at night or in the morning at least sometime during the day to make sure. And, you know, like, it's kind of funny to see this because, especially on the camera, because it's a little different than seeing it in real life. Um, you know, some of these leaves are nice and dark and they look great. And there's a plant that can be right next to it and looks perfect. And then you got a plant that just kind of loses leaves. And a lot of my pomegranates, I would say pretty much all of them, are like this, where they lose the leaves down the bottom and they're all kind of sitting at the top. So my grand experiment with this guy is I'm going to trim this guy pretty much down to here. And we're gonna see if it lives. If it buds, I mean, I'm gonna zoom in here as much as I can. Let me see, let's do the two time zoom. And um, you can kind of see buds are formed let me see if I can just do the one time zoom and um, and get a little bit better of a view on this because it just looks weird when I was zoomed in there. But you can kind of see that buds are formed, uh, at least, you know, ready to go in case uh, something changes here. So I'm going to experiment with this and try to just cut right down here. We'll give a couple buds. And again, this is a V. It's not always the best thing, um, but we're gonna try this. This trunk is actually, let me grab, if you look at this chopstick, side-by-side -side comparison, it is pretty much as thick as a chopstick, which is great. That means it's strong, it's sturdy. And we got this taper coming up here, but I would love to see this kind of just grow out a little bit more instead of just the standard V that we're seeing here. So that's the goal. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up trimming this and we're gonna have one of those contests in my head of will it grow back? I'm very confident it will. So what do you guys think? Let me know down below as I start setting up here to get ready to trim. Again, my setup, I'm going to try, I have this gimbal here. So give me just one second as I get the gimbal set up. And we're going to try trimming it out. So again, we have up here lots of green, okay? And the green, and there's even growth happening up here on both sides. But it's going to get top heavy. We're going to start seeing this thing sag, and we don't want that. We want this guy to be shorter. We're trying to bonsai this, for goodness sakes. So we're trying to make it shorter. 
So what I, like I said, we're going to trim, man, I want to say either here or here. And a lot of people are going to scream at me and say, Greg, you're going to take out like 80% of this tree. That's true. But I think, I think that uh, this tree is going to be able to make it. So what we're going to do, we're going to use these uh, nice trimmers here. Let's see if I can focus on that. And uh, they're going to allow me to trim at a 45 degree angle, which is great. So that's what we need. That's what we want. And I just have to decide where I want to trim this out. And we may just do one here. Okay, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this guy out here. And let's see if I can zoom in on this to give it a little bit more. And then we're going to trim this one up one more just for the heck of it. Now the question will come, will this come back to life? I'm betting it will. And here's why I think that. Let me just get this guy back in. So, as you can see, like I said, there's a lot of buds here. And I have a feeling that we're going to see these top buds here, okay, right here and right here. I think we're going to start seeing them swell very soon. Hopefully within a week, we'll start seeing them expand a little bit. And then hopefully within a couple weeks, we'll start seeing the buds start to really protrude and uh, grow out. So that's the goal. And if not, then we can say goodbye to Pomegranate B. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you... There's not much to look at now, is there? It is just a uh, stick in the ground. Um, but, I mean, look, I could put a chopstick in. Boom. But uh, let me know what you think. And uh, if you like this content, please make sure to hit that like button. And um, like I said... Let me know down below if you think it's going to live or not, if you would have done anything differently, um, and uh, what you thought about the plant before I, I trimmed the heck out of it. But I have a high feeling that this guy is going to come back uh, vigorously and uh, stronger than ever. And if you really liked what you saw, make sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, the bell next to it. Because <clears throat> I always love having new subscribers, people that I can talk to in the comments. Uh, I do love interacting with you guys, but uh, yeah, let me know, and uh, till next time, guys, this is Greg, Greg's Bonsai, signing off, and uh, here we go. See you guys. Take care.